the other thing I I kind of wanted to touch on what back when we were talking about notifying the assessor's office. Um, this all has changed pretty significantly this year because of Prop 19, and and I we've done an episode on Prop 19 way back when before we actually were stuck with it. But um, Madison, do you want to just talk a little bit about Prop 19 and how sure. this? It, it used to be that we always filed a parent child exclusion, which is what Prop 19, which is what we're talking, that's the part of Prop 19 that we're working at talking about is the parent child exclusion. Um, so we, we're back, we, to, back to talking about property, property taxes. Property, yeah. yeah. So we used to file it for everybody, but now that the law changed as of this year, it's not always going to be filed. It's only going to be filed if the property in question was the decedent primary residence and it's going to a beneficiary that's a child of the decedent or grandchild in certain circumstances and it will be their primary residence. That is the only way that you get a break on the property taxes and the only time you have to file the parent child exclusion form. So it's really important to have that family discussion if there's a bunch of siblings inheriting a property early on because you want to get that filed. You have three years to file it but if you don't file it timely in like the first year, they're gonna still gonna reassess the property and then you're gonna not probably have to get a refund. I mean, I don't know, even know if you can do that with the county, good luck. <laughs> yeah, I th yes. So getting that all sorted out, who, is this property um, gonna, gonna be reassessed under Prop 19 or is it not? The earlier you can figure that out, the better because they're going to reassess it. They're not going to wait for you. They're going to reassess it. And then if it qualifies and you didn't file the forms, you're going to be chasing after them to get your refund. And and <laughs> Madison says, I don't even know if you can get a refund. Right. I, I'm sure you can. I've seen it happen. <laughs> but you don't want to be in that position, right? It's, it won't be timely, put it that way. So like, don't hang something that you need to pay with that refund check. You know, right, and they're not, they're, not gonna, they're not gonna pay you interest for the six months that they hung on to your refund. They, mm -hmm. You know, you just don't be in that situation, be proactive. Let them know as early as you can, no, you can't reassess this property. 